Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Taste of Whiskey. It's been a while since I've made a new video, but I'm back. And today I have a really nice whiskey. This is from uh, a, a line of from Barton 1792 Distillery. This is the Thomas S. Moore edition. And these are wine cask finished bourbons. And I love wine cask finished bourbons because it, it just adds this nice uniqueness of flavor to bourbon. I, I mean, usually I see a lot of port wine casks and that's usually what I buy because I love port wine anyway. Um, and it really adds a nice berry note to the, to the bourbon. You know, a really nice finish. I, it it, it kind of makes it a little bit more exquisite. You know? it, but a lot of companies will do finishes for a few months, and you know, after they after it ages in its charred oak casks, they'll move the bourbon to wine casks and finish it for a few months. Uh, what's special about Thomas S. Moore is that they actually finish it for a few years in the wine casks, which really changes the character uh, relative to other wine cask finished bourbons that I've had. Um, you know, Thomas S. Moore was a pioneer of bourbon, opened up Barton 1792 Distillery in 1889, and really changed the history of bourbon. Uh, so let's, um, let's crack this open. So currently there are three different versions of this particular bourbon. This is the port wine cast finish, and they have a Chardonnay finish and a Cabernet Sauvignon finish. <clears throat> Now this doesn't have an age statement, but it, it does say it has a, it's a well-aged bourbon on the label, on, on the back, and it's his, historical information back here. And um, it really has that well-aged taste of bourbon. I remember I talked about before how I like bourbons that are around eight years old. There's like a specific type of character that comes out. This tastes like it's about that age or even older, maybe 10 years older. Um, it's very, very dark and rich. Uh, let's see. So this bourbon has a beautiful color. I mean, the color definitely changed being in that port wine casks uh, for a few years. It has a very dark amber color to it. it it's, it, you know, that, that definitely some of that purple from the wine definitely came out and mixed in with this. Just this beautiful, rich autumn dark color to it. it makes it very visually appealing. Mm, but the smell in this bourbon, uh, it's, it's just a really delicious smell. Very candy-like. Nice and sweet. You know, definitely a lot of caramel. Cotton candy. And you can smell the wine. I mean, the, I don't know if you're into wine. I love wine. I got a nice collection of wine, too. But uh, there's a very nice... Lots of dark fruits coming out of it. Um, it's... Uh, Mm. Very reminiscent of port wine. I don't know if you've had port wine, but it's a sweet, fortified wine. Very rich in flavor. Uh, higher alcohol than normal type of wine. But it's it's more of a dessert wine, but it's delicious. It, it's very enjoyable to have a nice glass after dinner or just pff, any anytime you want it, really. Uh, but finishing bourbon and port wine, it really makes an amazing difference to, to its flavor profile. Yeah, wow. Lots of rich, dark, charred oak smell too. It, it, it's 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 not light on the on the on the aroma. It's it's very like perfume like. You could like slap this on your neck and wear it as a perfume. It's mm, lots of nice aroma. Let's give this a, let's give this a taste now. Mm, wow. There's a lot going on. Uh, Delicious bourbon, you know, lots of that nice oak, charred, charred oak flavor, the dark caramel flavor. It's almost like a, more on the burnt end of, of like burnt sugar. Um, I don't know if you ever melted sugar to the point where it gets, you know, turns to caramel. It, it has like that really dark, rich taste. Um, almost like a burnt marshmallow almost. Uh, but the port wine finish on that it adds something extra. Mm. I mean, you could really taste the wine. I mean, staying a few extra years in a port wine cast really makes a big difference. It's very soft. Uh, and keep in mind, this is uh, this is forty nine point four five percent alcohol. It's, it's, I mean, that's a pretty decent amount. 
but it's very smooth. It doesn't feel like it's that high of alcohol. And um, a flavor, it's just very, very good. Mm. Yeah, nice long finish with it too. The whole flavor, the whole, the whole encompass of the flavor just stays with you. Like to me, you know, some some things you drink, you get like a beginning, a middle, and end on the flavor profile. This kind of tastes like it stays the same throughout the whole, by the time it hits your tongue and after you swallow it. You know, I can still taste it after swallowing. It's really nice and rich and, and a nice thick flavor, but it's a smooth bourbon and it's soft. It, it's, I can't really describe how, how the texture is any other way besides it just has this strange soft feeling in your mouth. It's nice, it's very enjoyable. It's a really nice sipping bourbon. Uh, these are about $75 a bottle. I would love to try the Chardonnay version and the Cabernet version. But the podcast one is pretty excellent. So thank you for joining me on this episode of The Taste of Whiskey. Please join me next time for another excellent dram. Cheers to you. Mm -hmm.